because this else if condition has matched and it has printed the uh, message that we have asked for that's why it will ignore the else clause but what happens I mean if neither is true like um, you can actually reverse these things um, else clause like I've said if the previous ones fail like the number is not uh, like the number is not equals or the uh, I mean they are actually arbitrary you don't need to include this because the reason is that let me show you something it can be equals to um, let me change this part let me show you the reason for this equals uh, greater than equals to then we can show something like less than else print this so because we have added if first number is greater than equals to second number then say that um, either they are equal or first number is greater I'm just changing the message so uh, let's do the same thing for this else if class um, let's change this so we can write second number is greater or we can just say first number is smaller than the second number and we are good to go so what we are doing in this case is that we are first checking whether the first number variable is greater or equals to the second number variable and then we are also checking whether the first number variable is less than the second number variable now there is a difference the first one has got the equals to symbol along with the um, greater than symbol and the second one has got the less than symbol the greater than and less than symbol is uh, quite self-explanatory but if you add an equals to symbol like this then it changes the meaning the meaning changes let me show you how does uh, meaning change the meaning will have an effect on okay let me make this a little simpler for you so I have used two different types of relational operators the first one is the greater than equals to and the second one in the else if condition is the less than symbol but let me just change this into um, something like let's make this greater than um, let's actually make this greater than equals to and let's change this to greater than okay now let's look at the output let's first recompile this uh, okay we're done with the compilation now let's run this executable so the executable tells us that they are not equal the reason behind that it's printing or it's going to the else class is because the first number variable does not contain a value that is greater or equals to the second number variable and it also does not contain a value that is greater than the second number value uh, second numbers uh, second number variables value sorry for that so none of these conditions uh, the, none of these conditions the first one and the second one is correct none of them are correct so because this is the default clause if anything above the else clause is ignored or any any condition above the else clause is incorrect or false then the else clause or the default one will always be triggered so that's why we are having 
or we are looking at a screen that's showing us they are not equal there that's actually printing uh, that's actually printing out that message to us now what happens if we actually change this to two let's have a look let's save this let's get back to the command prompt and let's clear the screen let's recompile the script and let me clean the sc uh, screen again let's get back to the execute table um, okay let's run this so it's telling us that either they are equal or the first number is greater than the second number I don't uh, I don't have the entire message so nonetheless you do get the point so the point is it's actually printing out the first if clause why is that doing that why isn't act why isn't it actually um, printing out something from the else if clause the reason behind is that both these relational operators are quite different before i told you that they have a subtle difference a little difference between them the difference lies when you add this equals to symbol along with this greater than symbol the same thing applies with the um, less than equals to and less than symbol so the difference is that you're actually telling the compiler if the first number variable contains a value that is greater than or equals to second number variable then print out this message on the command prompt so what we're we are essentially telling the compiler is that if you